Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The more I look at this picture, the weirder it seems. So this is, I don't know what this video is, but as you can see, we've got a 747 merged with a Concord, so basically it's the 747 fuselage and the Delta wings of the Concord. I think it would fly, right? <laughs> hmm. What plane is that now? Holy moly. Is that a 747-900? Of course. Yeah, welcome to the interesting Instagram site of Airplane Photoshop. Haters will say it's Photoshop indeed. Let's see what they have here. This is a big hmm as well. We've got uh, some more concepts. A390 which is the A380 but advanced and we've got the A360 which is the A350 but advanced I mean, this is MD80 reloaded huh I mean what are they saying here breaking Airbus have paused the A390 program due to long-term drop in demand oh okay so that's it. they're basically being a news site wow that is uh, <laughs> I don't know. uh hmm <laughs> Now, this is a very cursed image. Holy moly, what did you do, airplane Photoshop? So, we gotta... Okay, let's put this together. This is an Airbus A340 from the engine-wise, at least, or the winglets, right? That's some A340 in there. And there's also an A330 in there, because there's not the middle landing gear, right? And you can see the tilted landing gear, right? Which we always like, because it makes landings look butter. But then there's the longer fuselage and the nose of the 747. It's very fun to analyze these pictures. Very funny. <laughs> 474-400. Even the name is cursed. Hmm, that's, that's a hmm, indeed. Now, what is this plane? Uh, that's an, an A340, right? With, with a middle landing gear, right? This is, this is the difference between the A330 and the A340 to analyze this properly. So it's basically an elongated version of the A340. Am I, am I making this video funny? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how this thing would even take off, though, as well. But it's a hmm, indeed. Hmm. <laughs> that's a that's a hmm indeed. Okay, we've got a 747. Oh my god, what is that nose landing gear? First, <laughs> let's talk about the plane itself. Nose landing gear of a main landing gear of a 777, I guess. Making this plane kind of look like a tank. Pretty sick. Then we've got landing gear something. And uh, maybe let's talk about the elephant in the room. And that is just Ryanair having a 747. This is basically the 747 SP reloaded. And there's like a whole news article to this one. Ryanair have announced their intention to fill the new Boeing 7... Wait, no. 0.747s. With 537.5 passengers. So there's half a passenger. What counts as half a passenger now is the question. Is that children? I mean, children can easily go into the overhead bins. Yeah. Come on. Oh, next post. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. That's a lot of hmms. That's a lot of hmms indeed. All right. What is this play? We've got a. Okay. These are triple sevens, but a little modified. First of all, this one right here. Virgin Australia, I would think. Yes. This is actually here a triple seven, uh, a longer one. But the thing is, only the fuselage has been made longer and, you know, has been adapted. The wing has kind of been pushed forward. Also, the tail wings, right? That's a hmm. Would this plane fly? We don't know. Hey, there's also the A340. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay. A340. I mean, instead of four engines it could also have six engines as it does here uh and um long fuselage i don't know if this would take off probably not just <laughs> weight and ba of course this wouldn't take off weight and balance doesn't work at all and this is called something called the Seven billion seven hundred and seventy seven million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven. Normal aircraft name to say, of course. Totally great. <laughs> We've got a Qantas A three no that's seven forty seven. But you know, a little bit modified. Has a very interesting nose landing gear. Pretty much like the whole plane is nose now, isn't it? It's <laughs> so stupid. But it, it's, it's actually pretty funny. You know, this is, is this what you would see on all those YouTube videos talking about the biggest planes? I mean, I've already made a dedicated video to these videos. Holy moly. There are some weird YouTube videos out there. This one is probably a little weird as well, but that's another story. This is a, a great 747 concept as well. Also with the 777 main landing gear as a nose landing gear. Okay, let's check out the... Uh, Oh, hmm. We've got an MD-11. But they have replaced the engines with three cockpits and the one cockpit with one engine. Now, I have a few questions. Who is the cockpit in control? <laughs> also, where does the air that the jet engine sucks in 
go to? I'm guessing it'll be a little um <clears throat> freezing here in the cabin. Yeah. Okay, there's also another photo here in the slide. Hmm, that is a big hmm. An engine that is pretty much as large as the plane itself. That's nice to see here. I mean, I, I do miss the MD-11. Also, I do miss KLM flying at, at all to um, this airport here, St. Martin. Prince Destroyana Airport. Damn, a long time, huh? So, uh, yeah, this, uh, I mean, this plane makes a little bit more sense now. <laughs> hmm, mm -mm, mm hmm, This is now in Washington? This is Washington, right? Why would Ilyushin fly here? Some Russian planes fly here. Even though if I'm being honest, this is probably the most realistic Photoshop of planes, right, in this video. We've got <laughs> the Ilyushin Il-76, right? Yeah, the Il-76, the most dangerous plane, I think, on the planet. This thing now has two engines, but in the Photoshop it has three. Pretty much just one engine added. I mean, that's not too far off. Plane could fly. Also, this is, I think, I'm super bad at this, honestly. Uh, somewhat 96. Yeah, I mean, you know, that one also only has four engines, and what they've just done is um, put another engine here. I think I'm overanalyzing this, am I right? Okay. Mmm, <laughs> that's, that's a mmm. That's a mmm. Okay, we've got the A.3 prototypes. All right, so this is, I think, an A300 or two A300s, which have been shortened out. I mean, that reminds me of that one uh, 737 I was flying, like, a while ago. In the actual flight simulator, it didn't properly fly, obviously, because, you know, way too much surface uh, area here for lifting. So, yeah, but <laughs> all right. Hmm. Vietnam Airlines. We have a, a Dreamliner with another deck. I mean, that's a cool idea, but it's a big hmm. Wait, I think, wait, why would you not like just expand the plane, make it longer, and then it would actually fly? I think that's what, what's been done, right? They removed some They removed some seats here from the back and put them on top. Also called the MD 7877. That is a very easy title. Hmm. The cruise ship is back. I mean, I can remember flying that one in the flight simulator as well. It didn't fly either. <laughs> yeah, this is a 747 or something modified into a cruise ship, which by the way, <laughs> would never work. I mean, just from the sheer size, look at how big the cruise ship is and look at how small the 747 actually is. <laughs> yeah, hmm, hmm, that's a big hmm, that's a big hmm for sure. Holy moly, A380 replaced with 747? Cockpit? I've got a 747 with A380 cockpit. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, this is very interesting because I, I mean the 747's uh, cockpit is on the second deck, whereas the A380 cockpit is on the first deck, I think. Hmm, what is that now? The uncrashable plane. Oh, because it has landing gears on the top as well. So if you land inverted, that, that's gonna come in handy though. I mean, we gotta say that. <laughs> Look at that tail wheel here. Great. So yeah, guys, I mean, we literally, I just made a whole video on an Instagram page, Airplane Photoshop. Is that normal to do as a YouTube channel with 500,000 subscribers? I don't know. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kelamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.